I've got a kid here tonight, two of them from Gallatin County. And those are the guys that, that they were uh, freshmen, nine freshmen. I was stumbling around there making all these seniors mad and this, that, and the other. And finally, at the end of the year, I had those freshmen. And they believed in me. I wasn't lying to them. <laughs> I wasn't sure I was right. But they all worked hard and, and, and uh, they stayed together. And when we got this, the win at Warsaw was something I'd never been heard of. You know, when I went there to get the job, the superintendent was working on something, a light, like a light fixture. And he said, uh, What do you want, Sonny? I said, Sir, I looked for the superintendent. said, You got him? No. Oh, okay. I said, you don't know what I want. It don't matter, Sonny. We ain't, we ain't much. I ain't much, and I doubt Dan says if you're much. <laughs> and he said, I'm a basketball coach. Well, good for you. Hold it. You got the job. Call me Monday. What? Well, the house. Hold it 700 square feet. And he said, only house in town is for rent. It's got a bad septic tank. Boom. We were in the car. He said, what's that? I said, there goes your septic tank. <laughs> Hit right in the middle of the damn road. So help me. Right in the middle of the road. And, and knocked a big hunk of blacktop out and muddy and awful. And I said, God, get me out of here, Mr. Taylor. Good Lord of mercy. And I went home and my wife said, how was it? I said, I just don't want to tell you. He said, it was the worst thing I have ever seen in my life. And at 11.30 that night, we were at the little inn. And I had her all hugged up. She said, I want you to do me a favor. I want you to call that man and tell him that we're coming. We want the job. Hon, I can't put you in that place. You haven't seen it. It's awful. If it's good enough for you, it's good enough for me. And uh, go call him. Now, Mr. Trailer hang up. She said, hello. Who the hell's awake this time of night? Who are you? I said, well, he said, oh, you're that damn fool from Lexington, ain't you? I said, yeah, you got the job, but call me Monday. And don't ever call me again this time of night. <laughs> We became great friends. <laughs>